let's say day guys and peace be upon you this morning so in this video we're going to learn how to configure telnet on a cisco route so we're going to use uh we're going to configure telnet for remote access on a cisco route all right so okay so i'll open google spreadsheet i'll let you know that today we're covering number three remote access using telnet then on the other class we're going to do for ssh right okay so why would we need to configure telnet and what's telnet telnet is a remote access uh protocol that we can use to remotely manage or configure uh networking devices so instead of going to the server room physically to configure this device using a cable we can sit somewhere in a corner in the office in our table and configure the device remotely using telnet as a remote access protocol or method okay so uh that increases i mean uh reduces uh it doesn't consume a lot of time of walking from your desk to, to the server room and then it's the quickest way to do the configuration right before we proceed further i'll open the notepad to a few steps that are going to follow to achieve this objective so my first step is always to draw the nested topology decorate and comment then the second step is to configure ip addresses on the router's interface and the pcs and make sure to configure the default gateway on the computers right so we are going to use this network right here to configure the router and the computers right all right so let's do that let's do that very very fast i go to this router come to cli and just say no so as you you can observe that this interface is still uh, in shutdown state so let's turn it up enable uh config t then in interface uh which interface is this it's interface uh, gig zero zero interface gig zero slash zero just say no shut to turn it up so you can see it's now up green green then you go to there and assign it ip address ip add to be 192.168.1.1 let it take uh the first ip address in this subnet okay all right and a standard mask of 255 255 255.0 24 notation is equivalent to this by binary number okay all right so that's all then let's go to host devices and configure ip addresses and make sure that you configure default gateway of the computers and what will be the default gateway the default gateway of this LAN here of this LAN here will be ip address of this connecting interface which is 1.1 the ip address of gig 00, zero okay All right so um uh, one and two dot one six eight dot one dot uh, let's start from dot five okay and then uh default gate will be dot two oh sorry dot one okay all right then we come to this one do it very very fast to save time okay all right so this one should be dot six uh that one will remain that one and then dot one and finally we configure a to this computer so let's hit dot seven and finally default gate will remain that one okay so when you go down here we see that number three says test ping from pc to the router's interface so i'm going to try to ping the router's interface which was 1.1 .1. so let's try from this pc and i say ping 1.2.168.1.1 good that's all we needed also on this side just a test of a ping, a ping test, just a ping test, ping, 192.168.1.1, that's good, all right, so let's go to step four, configure hostname, enable password, domain name, and username and password on the routers, so guys, these are the parameters that are uh, prerequisites, prerequisite. they are mandatory when you are going to configure any remote access protocol we have to configure hostname of the router enable password the domain name and username and password so let's do that very very fast to save time the first thing i'll do enable password uh, i mean hostname enable password and ip domain name so let's go here 
exit and say host name to be host name to be let's say r1 r1 uh, tel telnet okay r1 telnet you can see it has changed to r1 telnet then we enable we configure enable password to protect privilege example we just say enable password to be let's say cisco i always like cisco as the password okay then domain name for example this device let's say it's a cisco div i mean it's a the cisco device although it's managed by uh, let's say uh, any company like google okay so we can say ip domain name domain name to be let's say cisco.com or google.com whatever you like it okay i like using cisco okay so um then we go down here again and now we configure a username and password okay it's very very important to configure username and password because we're going to authenticate we're going to log in we have to use username and password so just say username uh let's say i like using let me now add user admin then password of uh cisco still okay all right so that's done we've configured i uh, host them enable password domain name and username and password so finally i mean number five log in to learn vty and make it use local database for authentication then finally allow only 10 nights so um there's something here local database for authentication what is the local database for authentication here the username and password that we ju we've just created so let's log into line vty 0 to 15 16 in the face, okay right okay then make it use the local database that we created this one admin and cisco the password and username okay all right so just say login login to to use the local database and hit enter and finally make it allow only telnet because this was a telnet lab let it allow only telnet so we just say transport input uh telnet that's all and hit enter exit and do right that's all guys that's all so number sorry number six says tell uh test telnet using this command telnet that one that one so i go to any pc come to cmd and say telnet at the ip address of the router the ip address of this router was 1.1 1 .1, okay so just say that and we hit enter you can see we're being prompted a username our username was admin and password is cisco you see we are in telnet route router one telnet we can test with any pc come here and say uh telnet ip address of the router admin cisco you can see we are in telnet uh, router one telnet and now from here we can configure the router for example enable uh cisco it was cisco the password here was cisco uh config t we can even change our i mean host name let's say host name to be uh pc pc zero uh router one router one telnet and you eat it okay all right so even if you go to this pc here the same will happen so tenant 192.168.1.1 admin cisco pc0 router 1 tenant okay guys so thank you so much guys i believe this video has really helped you know how to configure tenant and that will let you know that we've done uh, the first part of number three so in the next class we're going to do part two please subscribe to this channel share with friends uh drop a comment below and if you have any doubt any suggestion kindly let me know in the comment section so thank you so much and let's see you again in the next uh, the next video bye